here's how you can make your EVAP testing much easier, or at least a little bit easier. Check this out. We have a Jeep Compass here that came in with a large EVAP leak, and we need to smoke test the system. So there's a couple ways to do it, but I'll give you one simple way that's gonna make your life a little bit easier. The trick is there's only one opening in the EVAP system and that's through the vent in a canister. So if that's our only opening, most guys will cap that off and then they'll disconnect. They'll find the purge solenoid or the purge line, disconnect that and try to hook up to that and then block off their vent or maybe they'll electronically close it. This is an eSIM car, so it doesn't have an electronically closable vent. Uh, so you can't do that, so you'd have to block it off. So here's a better solution. Instead of entering through the purge line, what if we got to our canister and here's our ESIM and we're injecting smoke right into the ESIM. This is the only point on the system that is vented, the only open point. So if we put smoke into there, the rest of the system should be sealed. This is gonna test our fuel tank, our canister, all of our lines, our purge solenoid all at once. Either way, you have to get to that vent solenoid or to that vent because that vent, if you don't block it off, it's gonna smoke out of there. So we gotta block that off one way or the other. So instead of blocking it, let's inject smoke right through there. Just another quicker way to not have to mess around with all the purge lines. And in this car, the purge line is buried behind here, goes to the intake manifold that's way in the back there. I don't wanna be trying to get in there and try to get access to it. I just wanna go right through the vent and we're done.